To my sociopath lover, I'd like to think that I was different from your other lovers, less naive than most, and so less easy for you to toy with. Perhaps I gained your trust, earned some respect. I'd let you know that you don't frighten or disgust me. I am an empath and you are a sociopath, and somehow that meant we got along just fine. You were so good while it lasted for those eight months. Clear with our expectations. I have a long-term partner and a girlfriend. I think that made me less of an emotional liability to you. We fit in hot sex dates among your demanding last semester of school and while you packed up to move out of the country. Sociopaths don't feel empathy like most people. They're known for seeing people as objects. I'm evaluated more based on my utility to her and less on her care for me. Your last few relationships ended disastrously, shocked when you can walk away so easily. I never pressed for details of the last one and the restraining order that you needed to place on her. You move through gender expressions with so little self-consciousness, casual disregard for expectations. Your long, thick, blonde braid goes great with your blue button-up men's shirt with no bra on. Then you duck into the bathroom to take off your lipstick so we can make out on the dance floor, and I pin your wrists to the empty wall. Sociopaths are high sensation-seeking, love risky behavior, and are notoriously ambivalent in their gender and sexual orientation. Under your charming persona, I meet your restless anger and need to control. The ruthless thrill in your eyes as you secured your belt to the headboard of my bed was so hot and so fascinating to witness, so unapologetic in your aggression. Yet for all my talk of being beyond your reach, I wonder if in the end I was gamed by you. Because you've been out of town now for two months and here I am still grieving the loss of our uncomplicated, lusty relationship especially because now my other relationships are a bit messy. I'm envious of your sociopathy, of your ability to emotionally detach, vacant of the longing, loneliness, and resentment that plague me. I had you tonight, you triumphantly proclaimed at the end of one of our dates. Yeah, yeah, I think you had me. <laughs>